beautiful humans. Hoping you have a fantastic 2018. Welcome back. And today we're going to be looking at an album from Good Tiger called We All Be Gone. And let's just jump into it. So Good Tiger had their sophomore debut album, I think about two years ago. It was a great, fantastic album. Everybody was excited for it. And then here just brings us to We All Be Gone. So the expectations were very high for this album. They started advertising it way back in like November, I think. November or December. And we finally have it here. So the very first track is called The Devil Thinks I'm Sinking. It starts off very sparse and very quiet. And then it kicks in and it's very strong. It's a great starting song because it gives you a, a good overview of what you're going to expect throughout the entire a, entire album. Float On, I really like this song. This one is a good second track. It's a good way to start off the album. So it's one of my favorite songs on the album because it's a lot different than all the other songs that are going to follow. You're going to see later on we're going to have some kind of repetitive stuff going on. But this one doesn't really do that. It's very it's very different. You have a little more staccato stuff going on. And the next one up, number three, Such a Kind Stranger. It starts off right away with a drum feel which kind of feels a little awkward to me. Then it kicks in and it gets things off early. It has a chorus that kind of repeats. From here on out, a lot of the choruses, they're going to repeat and they're kind of going to sound the same. But it's just musically. Lyrically and vocally, this album is great. Ellie does a great job. Just some of the choruses in here, they're good, but they're, they sound the same and it gets kind of repetitive. Next song, Blue Shift. This is a very 1975-y type song. It starts off with some play on the hi-hat and you have some synth. You got some synth loop. It's a very vibey kind of song going on. It's one of the more different songs on the album, which I like. It creates a good contrast. Uh, five, Salt of the Earth. This is one of the better songs on the album. Reminds me a lot of the Safety Fire. Miss that band so much. Uh, I wish more of the songs on the album would be like this. It's still, it, it, this song is good, but the chorus kind of gets in that little repetitive mode like we had for, uh, for Kind of Stranger. Next up, six, Rip Shoes. This is a good song. This is a good song for the bottom of the album. It's very strong. It finally has a different chorus than all the songs up top. It's a little bit more laid back, it's a little more clean. Seven, Just Shot. This song is neat. It has some really cool bass work going on in the verse, which you don't really hear on albums a lot of days. Bass is just kind of there playing whole notes and, you know, following the guitar most of the time. It has a very proggy, offbeat feel to it, which is really cool about this band. They can go do some pop elements, and then, you know, they bring in that prog type feel. Number eight, 19 grams, metric system, starts off with a very vintage safety fire sounding song, which which is really cool. Verse is really good. The song should have ended the record. It's really strong and it, it it's really cool. It's very good for the bottom. It definitely should have been in the end because you can find out in a second. So number nine, Cherry Lemon. This is an instrumental song. Very vibey. It's only a minute and 50 seconds. I'll finish this book later. It's the 10th track. I don't like this as an ending song. It's very weird. It's also very sparse, very quiet. Kind of like this. And then I think, they, I think it's Dez, the other guitarist. He sings in. You got some other singing going on in it. It starts off slow, then it kicks in, which feels kind of weird, then it kind of ends very low and lightly. This should have been, like, in the middle of the album, honestly. I think it kind of got confused on where to put it, since kind of how it was. So, what would I give this album? I think I'm going to give this album a 3.5 out of 5. It's a very strong album. The more I listen to it, the more I tend to like it. But my, my biggest pet peeves about it is it's way too short. It's only, I think, about 34, 35 minutes worth of songs. It makes me kind of sad. I wish we had more from these guys because I love them so much and like I said in the middle of the album the chorus is literally all sounding the same and it kind of was starting to bore me when, when you hear them back to back to back like that it, it started to bore me but overall this is a pretty it's a very good album I think it's better than the last one it feels like they're starting to sink into their groove they're starting to know exactly what they want to do and it's really cool to have like a, a prog rock laid back type of album with really good players doing some stuff in the background that you don't usually see in these type of bands. So, what did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to smash that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more cool reviews. Some more meme reviews. So, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. It's me. I'm going to have to be out. Peace!